Autumn is by far my favorite time of the year. The air gets a little crisp, the leaves start to change color, and of course, everything is pumpkin. So today, I'm making pumpkin macarons, but not just any kind of pumpkin, pumpkin with a little cute teddy bear on top. I'm Lauren, and today at the Princess Baker, we're making teddy bear pumpkin macarons for autumn. So head on over to your kitchen and come bake with me. We start making macarons, as always, with egg whites and weighed out ingredients. Don't worry, I have my complete macaron recipe linked below. I'm speeding through the actual making part of the macarons to get to the decorating good stuff. I have a complete intro to making macaron video, so if you're a first timer or a macaron beginner, definitely watch that first before diving into character macarons. In it, I break down the steps and secrets to making macarons. Is this your first time at my channel? Then welcome! I don't bite, I bake, so hit that subscribe button now and see what we bake together next. I used to hate making macarons. They were the thing I dreaded most to bake. But once making them clicked together for me, making them ever since has been a breeze. Macronage, or the process of mixing your dry ingredients with your meringue, was one of my trouble spots. Again, my introduction to macaron making will show you exactly how to do it right every time. Because I'm making more than one color with this batter, I'll need orange, brown, as well as uncolored for this design, I stop mixing before the batter starts flowing. Divide it into several bowls, color, and then keep mixing. If you're worried about how long this takes, cover your bowls with damp towels to keep the air out. Once you have your macaron batter flowing like ribbons, transfer it to piping bags because it's time to get decorating. Now is a good time to preset your oven to 300 degrees. I purchased these adorable bear designs from Etsy and saw macarons right away. Place under your mat and pipe the pumpkins first. I did two kinds of designs, one with ribbing and one without. For the ribbing, make two curved lines with space in between. For without, pipe an oblong macaron shape. Pumpkin shapes are very forgiving because they aren't perfectly round. Now this video is sped up, but allow some time to pass before piping the rest of the ribs of the pumpkins to allow them to show once baked. The amount they will show will depend on the amount of time you give them to dry. I gave about five to seven minutes. And make sure that batter is touching. Air gaps will lead to cracked macarons. We don't want that. To add the bare faces, pipe a small circle above the pumpkin Again, making sure that the brown is touching the orange. Don't worry, the colors won't bleed together. Then add the bear's ears. If you would like them flush to his head, add them right away. If you want them to stand out a little more, let the batter dry for a minute. Next, add the bear's arms. Is he holding the pumpkin or hugging it? I'm not sure. I think he's propping himself up on it. What do you think? Next, add his snout. Use the uncolored batter for this, piping a small circle where his nose is, and add some puff to his inner ears. Give a hard tap to get rid of the air bubbles, remove your template, and then wait at least 30 minutes before baking them to develop the skin from drying. You should be able to pat them without the batter running. Then bake for 15 minutes. Let them cool completely so they lift right off the mat. Every baker knows that the mark of a perfectly baked macaron means feet. It's these roughly ridges at the bottom, and when they're formed, you know they've been baked correctly. Now let's add details to our bear. I'm using an edible marker to add his eyes and nose. You can also use royal icing. Since Halloween is around the corner, some pumpkins are becoming jack-o'-lanterns. To give the pumpkins more pizzazz, I'm diluting orange gel coloring with some high-proof vodka and using a paintbrush to add more details to the pumpkin. For a filling, chocolate ganache goes in the center to make these macaron cookie sandwiches. 
Isn't this little guy so cute? I hope you've enjoyed making these autumn character macarons with me. Make sure you subscribe for your next adventure with the Princess Baker.